discrimination, stigmatization, and exclusionary laws towards LGBT people can contribute to poverty and in some cases result in extreme poverty. These same factors also create hurdles for reducing poverty, thus negatively impacting the livelihoods of LGBT people and their families around the world in multiple ways. The inclusion, protection, and empowerment of LGBT people is critical because drawing on the full contributions of the entire population leads to more effective, comprehensive, and sustainable development results. As President Obama, Secretary Kerry, and most recently National Security Advisor Rice have all made clear, protecting the human rights of LGBT persons is a priority of our comprehensive human rights policy, and human rights are core pillar of our foreign policy. The fundamental principle that guides the U.S. government's LGBT work is that the human rights of LGBT persons are not different or separate from the human rights of anyone else. All people deserve to be treated with dignity, no matter who they are or whom they love. In fact, in December 2011, President Obama signed the first ever Presidential Memorandum on International Initiatives to Advance the Human Rights of LGBT Persons, requiring that federal agencies work together to meet the common goals and support the human rights of LGBT persons globally. We partner to end extreme poverty and promote resilient democratic societies, advancing our security and prosperity. Unfortunately, LGBT people around the world are often the most likely groups to live in extreme poverty. LGBT participation in democratic processes and government is often severely limited. Few public officials who are openly identifying as LGBT in the countries in which we work.